Right then guys, last Saturday I released a video all about, oh, two port valves, central heating systems, and I wanted to figure out a different way, a way that I could teach you about how the lives work for this and how simple they are to wire up if you can get your head around, it's all lives. The neutrals and the earths just go back to their little home. It's all about the lives and the switch lives, that's how it all works. Let's check the start of this little baby out. Hi guys, James here from PlumberParts.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at S-Plan heating systems, how they're wired up. They're a very, very common type of control that we have in heating systems in the UK. We get asked this question all the time. You did a video about it 10 years ago. Can you do an updated version of that video? We're even going to use light bulbs to show you where the lives go. We're also going to pop out on a real life job as well so you can see the true nature and the true hell of S-Plan systems and their wiring. So please hit the subscribe button by the end of this video Video, you should be pretty much an expert on S-Plan heating systems. Remember as well to hold tight. Let's get on with the video. My rudimentary table. Right, so I really, really enjoyed, I really like that bit of music actually. Really nice little, nice little song there. I better turn my phone down actually because I've just been out to do a job. I'm blocking a bath, which was great fun. And also just changing some of the rubber washers on the uh, compression fitting underneath on the inch and a half. And I just don't want them to ring up and say that we've still got a leak while I'm doing this. So as is usual, this is the second week that I've been doing this. I thought let's have a little look at your comments. So we've had 12,218 people watch this as at the time that I record this. 337 likes and nine complete knobs. 67 comments, blimey, we've got quite a few to go through here. So obviously there's my pinned Tomic comment at the top. Two replies, please, my programmer thermometer can't turn off the central heating. And I don't know if the two port valve has gone, but the hot water can turn on and off. But the funny thing is, is that when it's on, the heating also comes on, I'd say. 100%. <laughs> New to port valve, bud. Boom, in you go. Cracking vid, John Cox, thanks very much. Baby, I love you very much. Don't get by, get bry, who's been a long time subscriber. I went on a course last year and the tips remembering the wire for a three port valve is white heat, gray water. Now I'll be doing the three port valve video, the same sort of way, the same series as this, uh, in a couple of days. Well, actually it probably won't go out now for about two or three weeks. Just depend on when I can get round to it. Really busy just out in the tools at the moment. And it's crazy, that's all there. Davy G, photo's an excellent tip. Thank you very much, Davy. Thing is, you can't, you know, a picture paints a thousand words. So you might as well just bang a photo out of it on your phone. And even weeks later, it's still there, isn't it? You can go back to that and find out what happened. I also cut the old wires out, leaving an inch of wire and replaces I'm removing I think it looks like a smaller box of spaghetti then um, I'm gonna put love this because I do love this there we go bang I've never found George in the online house it's becoming an unhealthy obsession now let me just very quickly pop over to plumber parts interactive house oh it's there as a Google search well if we go funny enough it hasn't there's the interactive house there so George is somewhere in this house right now he is sat downstairs right he's just sat here chilling out but he's also hidden in one of the many other articles that we've done to help you guys out when it comes to plumbing he's hidden somewhere in it some of you guys I mean he could be hidden he could be hidden in air source heat pumps for example sponsored by Grant who are absolutely quality he could be hidden in here he could be hidden in this video about it he could be hidden anywhere you know we go back to the house um if we go upstairs he could be hidden in expansion vessels learning about expansion vessels yeah all that sort of stuff so you know there's plenty of places he could be hidden but i've got a feeling i've just got a feeling he's a bit oily <laughs> i don't want to ruin it for you but he might be oily um don't get bright get bright said does anyone actually know how each plan got its preceding letter c s y and c what does each letter stand for also, wire elbow, street elbow is called street. I always thought a Y plan was called a Y plan because of the shape of a three port valve and an S plan because it's a, a way of doing thing in series. It's not though, is it? It's more parallel S plans. C plans, I've not done a video on yet. And one of you, I think you commented in this video actually, you want us to do a C plan video. So I've added you to the list. It will happen. Gixa, Saturday morning in bed with James. Hope this isn't compulsory. <laughs> well, I need, we need to ask Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Gixa. Filthy swine. There you go. Boom. Great way to show people, Jimmy. Love this vid from DSAN314, who's also a big fan of Times of James as well. Give him a little cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. Wow, this one here from Alan Haycock. Probably one of your best videos 
ever. Uh, made something look complicated, looks really easy. Really enjoyed it. And I replied to him, cheers, dude. And then we've got Charlie Willis, who's at the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, Charlie Willis went, another bodge up, James. You're getting to be an expert now, lol. I'll bodge up your ass." <laughs> God, these days you've got to say that, haven't you? Christ. David Burnett. Great video as always, James. I've always used Region 5 pins, connectors. Uh, when do two or three ports... Right. Okay, <laughs> keep saving. Keep disturbing the wiring centre. Okay, good shout. I think I know what you're on about there. I uh, might ask him, do you use those Wagos? Do you use those Wago? Nature win. I loved it, mate. S-plans used to confuse me so much, man. Thanks. No worries, bro. I'm an industrial door engineer. Why did I watch this? Because coronavirus. <laughs> Great video, bud. Can't wait for the next one on a wire plan of three port valves. Mate, it is coming. Don't you worry. It is coming. Um, I cannot stop watching these videos. Awesome vid, mate. Now, where is my two port valve? Another helpful video for new starters or just a refresh. Instead of 13 amp fuse spare, pop a 3 amp in there. Much safer. Bang on, mate. Um, rip velo pump. R.I.P. Oh, sorry. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Velo Pump. Lucky it was for educational purposes. Good video. Sam Fabela. Thanks for this video. I've learned a lot from just seeing this. Always found S plan and Y plan a bit confusing, but you make it look simple. Even I understood this, lol. Oh, even you, Sam. Let's put that. Even you, Sam. You thick bastard. No, I'm not going to put that. Martin Sylvester. Really enjoyed the videos. Do you have anything on replacing a water cylinder when a gas auger, which supplements the hot water, is involved? Mate, that is a C-plan system. Seems to have four outlets from my old cylinder. Almost a C-plan. New video, perhaps. Huh. No crimp on butte lace ferrules on that multi-strand cable. James, naughty boy. Sorry, David. I'm extremely upset by my behavior. Ski pup. Save yourself a ton of hassle if you're replacing just the head by using a five pin plug. No need to go to the spaghetti night nightmare. That is such a good idea. Mr. Old School. Great video, James. Remember to hold tight. Thank you very much, Mr. Old School. The issue with using permanent feeds to two ports valves is when they stick on and override the stats and keep the pump and boiler running. Exactly right, Dennis Phoenix, but this is part of the beast. White to the radiators because rads are normally white. Ah, I like that, Jake. Nick Collins said, wiring in from scratch. Easy. Retrofitting a valve can be a nightmare working out which far wire is which when open in the lid to the wiring center mate we've all been there uh, there may be more than one wiring box in the real world potential nightmare nick that's probably why you don't actually have an icon because you're so terrified by it sam mclaughlin i would like to see a c-plan system i'm just going to give you a little boom joe b said great video jim much simpler than the hard way thanks mate ah oh, dynafight fans found big g finally nice video james but what are the rules on a non-qualified electrician wiring up a central heating system? Is any Tom, Dick, Harry are allowed to do that? It's a bit of a grey area, that one, Barry. A little bit like the grey wire. A lot of people don't know what it's for. I mean, a lot of the time, I have Sparkies get me to wire these up because a lot of Sparkies don't know how to do it. But that being said, there are some Sparkies out there who know. And if you get it signed off by a Part P boy uh, and everything's safe, you don't burn the house down, you don't kill anyone, then I'm not going to say anything else now. I'm not putting my head in that noose, man. Sandy Anderson, Britain tutorial, Jimmy. Cheers, Sandy. No worries, Sandy. Josh S, great video, James. Looking forward to the Y plan follow up because that's what I have at home. Unrelated question the header tank in the loft always overflows to outside around one to two litres of water each time the heating system is switched on. Are there any things I can try first before calling out a plumber? Thanks. I replied, I'll answer on Wednesday, which is what we're doing now. Uh, but Dennis Phoenix popped in there, which is what I always like. I love you guys to go and help each other out. The water level in the storage tank is in the storage tank is too high. Check that the float valve is cutting off properly first. If it is, lower the float a couple of inches. This will allow for expansion. When you heat the hot water on the heating system. <sighs> My God. Um, okay, that's a very good reply, Dennis. Well done. Um, I would also say there's a few other things you could probably do. Turn the temperature down your boiler slightly and also turn the pump speed down slightly, rebalance the heating system, see if that helps. Sometimes you'll find when the pump comes on, someone might have put the expansion on the flow side of the pump or something like that and it's pushing water up there a bit, that's going into the tank of the loft and then that's going out of the loft onto the floor all over your patio that you've just cleaned from of the dead bodies. 
try those things out. But also do Dennis's one first. That's probably going to be your first port of call. Tony Hughes, great explanation. Thanks. No worries, Tone. This is fun overload from Jesus Jones. Great video. Very well demonstrated. Simple explanation to a complex system. Keep them coming in. Hold tight. Cheers, Tone. Um, thank you. I now understand the wiring a bit better now. No worries. Jimbo strikes again. Quality video. No worries. Salman Sawa said, can you also make a video of vertical flu from loft, please? Uh, mate, I, I, don't, uh, I don't usually do videos of stuff that I don't think people should do if they're not qualified. Um, apart from obviously wire up S Plan Systems. <laughs> Sean Henderson, excellent informative video, mate. The lights were visual were a nice touch. Will help me out. I like the way you've made me press show more there. Only joke, right, how, uh, hi, how would this work if I wanted to add a second heating zone? Oh, mate, what a great question. That's what's good about S Plan Systems. So, Dennis has gone in there again. Dennis, you're a bloody hero, mate. Add another room stat and two port. You can have as many two port valves as you need. A lot of new houses have three two port valves, two for heating zones, one for hot water. Um, hi, thanks for that. That's what I was planning. I just need to work out how to prioritize. Um, well, you won't need to do that so much if you balance the system properly. The good thing about S Plan Systems is you can just keep adding to them within reason and the wiring works separately, the system physically with water works separately as well. Personally, when I'm fitting a system, a heating system for anyone, I always ear down the side of S Plan Systems, unless I want to be really lazy and put a Y Plan in. I just think Y Plans restrict the flow, don't allow you to add as many systems afterwards, or don't allow you to add any afterwards, and there's just a bit of a pain in the bum. Great video, mate. Hold tight from A Harvey. Well done. Cheers, mate. Interesting how different things are done in the UK and US compared to Denmark. How is it possible to control the heating in a big house from a room thermostat with a single location? Large houses are usually separated into two or more zones with separate thermostats and valves. Oh, thanks for that. Well done, guys. See, that's what I like to see. You all chatting away, having a nice time together. Peter Allett said, thanks very much for doing the video. Oh, there we go. John Ward, electrical guru, uses grey as permanent lives to valves and oranges switch live to the boiler and pump. All right. How would you wire an S-plan with two or more heating zones? Take a feed from Terminal 4 and program to a room stat, then to a brown on a... Well, look, there is a few ways you can do it, but most people, if you're going to have more than one zone, uh, you're probably going to buy a four zone, something like that, a four zone programmer. You can buy them, which means then every everything can start in the same way. You just take your lives all out of the one, two, three, and four ons, uh, and then you can take that off to whatever you're basically powering. These days, though, people are using thermostats and timers that are all in one, like a Nest programmer or a My Genie or a Hive. But Dave Lax came in, he said, doesn't matter how many zones, all oranges together, all greys together, one or 20, it's the same. Take pump live to the brown on the zone valve for multiple pumps. Um, yeah, that kind of works pretty well, I'd say, even though I probably wouldn't have it on the browns of the zone valve, I'd have that on the switched out. But it's up to you, everyone's got their own way of doing it. Jack Hoskins went in there and said, why? No why? Um, all right, mate, there we go, boom. Um, do not put solder on flexible wires. <gasps> Tin flows under pressure. If you want to do better than shoving fine stranded in a terminal, not designed for it, and you should, use a ferrule. They're cheap, they're easy, and they're insulated. Type help prevent you screwing down the insulation instead of the conductor. No solder, please. All right, mate. God, I say what, man. You need to put you need to pull apart some of the wiring boxes that are in the UK because you ain't gonna find many ferrules in there. Uh, even though I'm gonna write it down. I like when people sort of met say stuff wiring. When people say stuff like that. Oh, he's here. What do you want? Really? You want scrub? Come on. Come on, then, you bellin. Hey, here he is. Mr. G is here, everybody. Meow, he says, meow. Come here, George, do you want to give this some scrub? You always give this a little bit of head scrub, don't you? Oh, yeah, he says, yeah. Right, George, we've got to carry on, man. Anyway, we've got people here waiting for these videos. Jack said, great video. I said, cheers, dude. Oh, bloody hell, Jack. He said, even though I didn't watch all of it, I said that because I know all your vids are great. Oh, cheers, mate. Love you. I'm going to put cheers, mate. Love you. Where is it? Cheers, mate. Love you. There we go. Right then, guys. So there we go. That's the comments that I found on here on this video on Monday. I am going to be back. I don't know if we're going to get a video out this Saturday. I've just got to get round to it. Um, but I've got a few videos coming up. We're going to be doing stuff on shower pumps. We're doing stuff on um, header tanks. I'm doing stuff on 
unvent uh, on vented hot water tanks i'm also doing a few videos on oscillating power tools i just want to do basically one video on the oscillating power tool i use which is you know the little multi tools that, that wiggle from side to side um, I'm going to do a video on those as well. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And I want to keep this up. If you like this feature, if you like me answering your questions, because it's currently what we, we're Tuesday night. So you've had sort of Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday to get your comments in. Um, if you like me answering your comments in this way on the Wednesday, then please comment below on this video and I'll continue doing it. Until then, remember to hold tight, okay? Big G's here and he loves the scrub, don't you, mate? He says, me, yeah. He's the biggest hero ever. Look, no one can see your lovely little face, Georgie. He says, no, daddy. No one can see my face because it's too beautiful for everybody. Oh, yes. Mwah. Right then, guys, I'll see you in next week's video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week as well. <sighs> Remember to hold tight and wash your hands for 20 seconds. Okay? Yeah.